Hello everyone. The Chinese articles you see online can be very different and advanced than what you see on your textbooks. Therefore, you need a pop-up dictionary for your web browser. For example, if you put your mouse on top of the character or on top of a word, then it can show you not only the pin but also the definitions. All right, so this add-on is to be called Zhongwen Chinese English Dictionary. I have put the link of this page under this video. I suggest you to use the Chrome browser so that you can easily add it to your Chrome by clicking here, agree, and then once you have uh, installed this add-on on your computer, just take a look at the right top corner here the little icon here that's where you can turn on this add-on i just click so i click here and i will put a pin and now you will always see the icon on top of your browser now i'm going to click this icon and it will show me on the red color of on so which means now this add-on has been turned on i love this chinese pop-up dictionary so much because it can also recognize the classic characters in the books or in chinese history for example cao cao which is the main villain of the novel of the romance and the three kingdoms san guo yan yi here you can see the information of uh, cao cao also, if I put it on another name, it will show me, okay, Cao Pi is the son of uh, Cao Cao. And this dictionary can also detect the Chinese proverbs and uh, the idioms, so which is very practical. What's more, this plugin also have a lot of uh, shortcut keys. For example, N is short for next. If you type N on your keyboard, it will automatically jump to the next word so that you can see the definition of the words one by one. And if you want to create your own word list, that is also possible with this plugin. For example, I don't know this word, Chengzan. Then I just type the key of R, and R is short for remember. After I click R, this word Chengzan has been added to my word list. For example, I will try to add some more words. I will type R and Huang Di Emperor. I will add R, add to the word list. And this one, Jun Chen, a ruler and his minister. I will click R, add to the list. Also pay attention to the notice here. It says that if you press Alt and uh, the key of W together, it will lead you to open the, your word list on a new tab. So I'm now I'm going to tap Alt plus W. Well, now we are on the page of the word list that I just created. If you don't want certain words, you just click them and then click Delete delete selected rows, and then they will be gone. Also, I know some of you like to use Anki to make flashcards. With this add-on, it's possible for you to export all the vocabularies on the list that you created to your Anki. On the other hand, if you have subscribed to the application Scritter, also there's a way for you to export the vocabularies to your Scritter. If you doesn't have a Scritter account yet, you can use my coupon code under this video, which can save you 10%. And if you would like to know the detailed steps how to transfer your words from this plugin to your Anki or Scritter, just follow the steps on this page, which I will also put under this video. Here on this page, this website is a perfect website for you to watch the latest Chinese TV shows and TV series for free. 
Well, another thing I love this add-on because it can also detect the words in the bullet screen. If you don't know what bullet screen is, please check this video on the right top corner. Now let me show you how to find the bullet screens. First, let's see this word, Daohang, which means the navigation. And under Daohang, we have Dianying, uh, the movie, 电视剧, TV series. Zongyi, Zongyi, it's the entertaining TV shows in China. Let's take a look at the categories of Zongyi. We have Zhen Ren Xiu, the reality show. Xuan Xiu, the talent show. Wang Zong is online variety shows. Toko Xiu is the stand-up comedy. This website updates everything so timely that something may be on screen yesterday in China and then today you already able to find the show right away on this website. So make sure you save this website. I will also put the link under this video. And the Dong Man is the cartoons and the comics. Ti Yu is the sports. Ji Lu Pian is the documentaries. There are also many other types of shows. You can use this pop-up dictionary for you to explore this website. For now, I would like to see a latest movie in China. And here there are many categories. I love comedy, so I will choose the first option, Xi Ju, the comedy. Once I enter the page of comedy, and on this page, you can see the comedies from all over the world. I just want to see those that with Mandarin. Therefore, I comes to here, 全部语言, 语言, the language, and I will choose 国语. 国语 is another way to say 普通话, the Mandarin. After I click 国语, now all the movies showed up here, they will speak Mandarin in it. So I will choose this first one and I just click play. After I click, it will directly lead me to the movie. I don't even need to sign up for this website. I can directly watch the show. And now you can see that there are many, many uh, text floating on the screen. That's the bullet screen. So now I'm going to put my mouth on top of the words. Look, uh, this add-on can also translate the bullet screen. Well, uh, if you are watching this movie, with this add-on, you can see how Chinese people commenting on the same thing that you are watching with them. Another thing I would like to comment is that uh, on this TV show website, usually the new movie, they all have uh, both the English and the Chinese subtitle. And if you feel that those bullet screen are a little bit annoying, you can just click here. Uh, on the bottom, dan, and then all the dan mu, the bullet screen will be gone. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to use this add-on to improve your Chinese reading. I will see you on the next video. 谢谢,